You know, what's not to be excited about? If you talk about the state of the union, what is the state of our union right now? It's never been better. You know, the jobs numbers, the uh, all of the economy is doing well. Uh, people are flourishing. Uh, what's not to be excited about? I mean, like every president, they give a laundry list of their achievements and accomplishments. They talk about where they have been successful. Yes, he did all of that. But he also did a lot of reaching out, maybe not just to people in that room, but I think by the people that he highlighted, many of the issues that he talked about, he made it clear that he was reaching beyond the base. I think he was reaching out directly, frankly, to African Americans, wanting them to come on board with many with his campaign. So I think he was reaching out beyond yeah. his base. I think if you uh, look at the number of times Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, did not stand up during that speech when the president was touting these record low unemployment rates, the good economy, the blue collar boom, uh, it, it furthers the partisan divide. We constantly hear Democrats lecturing us about how President Trump is uh, is degrading the dignity of the Oval Office. Well, ripping up a speech on national TV, a historic speech, is, is pretty classless. And we wonder why so many college students thinks, think it's okay to storm out of their classroom when they hear something they don't like. Well, look who their role models are. The case presented by the House they simply did not prove that the president should be impeached. They didn't show that he broke any laws. They didn't show that his behavior in the foreign policy area was any different than any prior presidents, including his immediate predecessor, President Obama. So they just haven't proven the case for impeachment. And I think it's really important here to make clear that these are not tariff cuts from the baseline tariffs. What this is is a partial rollback of retaliate, retaliatory tariffs. So the United States did a partial rollback of its tariffs that imposed on China, and then China did a partial rollback of retaliation. So this is not improving the status quo of three years ago in terms of tariff rates being charged within the U.S. and China. It's really just undoing the bad that was done. The last couple of days, to see the number of human smugglers attempting to enter the country, that we're interdicting these people and holding them to account. But it means that we need a more comprehensive look. And that's what the new executive order does.